Let's say you have a book or a paper in PDF form that you really want to read, but it's like 200 pages long and you feel you don't have the time. Then we can use GPT-3 to summarize the PDF file, make it into a step-by-step -step guide, research notes, blog post, or even mid journey prompts. So let's just see how I did this. So here we have the book Deep Work by Cal Newport in PDF form. As you can see here, this is a pretty long book. It's 190 pages and around 73,000 words. So the problem we run into with GPT-3 is that it can only handle 4,000 tokens. So that is where a good Python script really comes into play. So I have written the Python script that does the following. It converts the PDF file into a text file. Then it slices the 73,000 words into chunks of text, summarizes the chunks, merges all the chunks into one text file. Then it writes a new summary of the merged chunks. Then it goes ahead and write key notes from that summary. And on, we write a step-by-step -step guide from those notes. It then summarizes the notes into something like the bare essentials of the book. It goes ahead and writes a blog post from the notes. And finally, it does some mid-journey prompts from the notes that we can use as illustrations, as we will show uh, after we have run the script. If you want to learn how to create scripts like this, you can check out my membership page where we do step-by-step -step tutorials also for beginners and a bit more advanced scripts. And we have a Discord and we have a GitHub repo, so we share our scripts. Check it out if you want to. Now let's move on. So let's just fire up the script, put on a timer and see how long it has to run before it completes this. Okay, so here we go. Let's fire off the timer, start the script, and let's see how long this takes. Okay, so that was the script done. <laughs> My PC crashed in the middle, of course, so I had to restart it. Probably looks a bit weird. Around nine minutes to finish the whole script. As you probably saw in the beginning, if you caught it, it was 92 chunks. It had to be divided into. And then it was 10 from the notes. And then we could use, finally use the text to do some other things. But yeah, I think it looked out, turned out very good. So let's have a look at some results. Okay, so first let's have a look at the key notes we got from the summarization. Uh, I'm not going to read this, but it was quite a lot of notes actually. And I looked at a few of those and it looked pretty pretty good actually. So I think this turned out pretty good. Uh, let's have a look at the step-by-step -step guide. So here we have 15 steps. Uh, that is how you can perform deep work. So let's have a look at a few of them. Set a hard deadline to keep for deep task and work with great intensity to complete it. Create a ritual with rules and processes to keep effort structured and supported. Yeah, there are some good uh, step by steps here. Implement uh, the craftsman approach tool selection. And yeah, you can read this if you want to just hit pause. Let's have a look at the blog post. Okay, so here is the blog post we got. Deep work strategies for maximizing concentration and productivity. We have our introduction. We have our headline strategies for maximize, maximize deep work. We have impact of open office designs the craftsman approach to tool selection and the law of the vital few and shutdown ritual and we have a conclusion so pretty okay blog post kind of needs some work though but uh, not too bad so let's have a quick look at the mid journey prompts <laughs> these were not the best but uh, uh, we can have a look here like deep work productivity and focus improvement work deeply break from focus drain the shallows uh, i don't think these were a good success but we're gonna try to run some of them and see what kind of illustrations we get back so for a compressed version of cal newport's deep work 73,000 word book we made some illustration i did a voiceover and let's just hear what gpt3 took this 73,000 word and compressed them down to Deep work is a state of distraction-free concentration that pushes cognitive capabilities to their limit and has been embraced by influential individuals throughout history. It is becoming increasingly valuable in the 21st century economy, as knowledge workers are becoming more and more important. To join these groups, the author suggests two core abilities, the ability to quickly master hard things and the ability to produce at an elite level in terms of both quality and speed. Strategies to maximize the amount of deep work accomplished in a schedule are suggested, such as the Roosevelt Dash, Productive Meditation, and the Chain Method. 
Companies have embraced open office designs to facilitate communication and idea flow, but research has shown that these designs can be distracting and hinder serious thinking. The craftsman approach to tool selection is proposed, which involves identifying core factors that determine success and happiness in one's professional and personal life and assessing the positive and negative impacts of a tool on those activities. The law of the vital few states that 80% of a given effect is due to just 20% of the possible causes, and suggests that people should focus on the top two or three activities that contribute most to their goals. Finally, a shutdown ritual is a series of steps to be taken at the end of the workday to ensure that all professional concerns are addressed.